Hi, I'm Jatino Moria, and I'm here with Paul Donnelly of the YQL team. Today we're going to look at the latest addition to the YQL console. It's called the Query Builder. Paul, do you want to talk a little bit about some of the challenges that new developers to YQL have with looking at uh, open data tables and how to create statements based on that? Sure. If you're a new developer and you want to figure out how a table works, um, you typically go to the describe table uh, command and you can do that by uh, I'll take social updates as an example um, you could click on this link describe social updates and um, it gives you this XML structure that basically is your roadmap on how the table works it tells you um, some met metadata it shows you uh, what you can do with the table in terms of selects uh, insert and delete for this particular table and when you're a new user, it's kind of hard to get up and running very quickly just by looking at this statement. Um, and uh, that's what we see um, new de developers having trouble with. So you click on this social updates tab, and it gives you this form-based wizard that shows what is um, possible to use, uh, what statements you can use with this particular table, um, such as like the select statement, this insert, and delete statement here. Um, the show table info uh, link here expands the metadata for the table um, and it shows you uh, links to the documentation uh, and some sample queries that you can execute as well. You want to try out some of the statements that are available? Yeah, so let's uh, try this select star from social updates where good equals and it gives me this form where I can enter this a special keyword called me uh, and since I'm logged in it knows what GWT I am based on this uh, keyword and I'll hit test and it created this query for me and it executed it and shows all the uh, social updates that I've done for Yahoo now if I want to insert an update I can just go to insert into social updates and if I was a new user it would be it would take me a while to actually construct this query because you know you have to figure out what the required keys are um, and construct it that way. So I can just simply enter me for quid since I'm logged in. I know it's I can use me. And for title I'll just use test. And for a description I'll just do test test description. There's also um, this button here called Add Key, which exposes all the optional keys um, that you could add into this uh, insert statement. And um, for this example, I'll just use Link. And sure. I'll... So all these keys are basically things you don't need, but you can add if you want. Exactly, exactly. So for, for Link, I'll just add like Yahoo.com. And I'll hit Test and it, insert, it created this query for me and it ran it successfully and I can go back to the query builder go back to select star from social updates where GWT equals me to see if I insert it correctly and there it is title test and uh, it looks like I updated my social stream uh, using the query builder that's great now, are, are there any caveats to this uh, query builder that, that we should be aware of, Paul? Yes, it's um, right now it only constructs simple queries. Um, it does not do projection and it does not do um, subquery statement building. Okay, and and you should be aware that you need to be logged in in order to access certain tables that uh, access private data. So um, in this case, we've already logged in. Um, thanks a lot, Paul, for showing us the query builder. And we hope you all get a chance to try it out. It's now live at developer.yahoo.com slash yql slash console. Try it out, and thanks.